Welcome to Danny's Diary. We're here in Bally Doyle ahead of the 2024 flat season. Hopefully we can find a few nice pointers for the season ahead. Here with Aidan O'Brien on the open morning ahead of the flat season. Aidan, uh, an exciting time of the year for you? Yeah, thanks Danny. Yeah, so we're, uh, yeah, absolutely. We're happy so far. Everything's going good. Um, I sure always look forward to this time of the year and this time of the year everything's going well. So, um, yeah, no, so far so good. Aidan, Danny used to ride out down here, I think. Do you remember that or not? Oh? Danny. Yes, I do. But that's my idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what? I was only yeah. 15 when I was here. Yeah. I think my first lot I used to muck out uh, Soldier of Fortune, but then uh, I was allowed to ride out first lot my second week here. Good, good man, Danny. Yeah, they were the days. <laughs> God, you were, you were a small little boy then. It's hard to believe. Yeah, but it was, uh, it was a great times, weren't they? Really? They were, they were. And even for me being here now, seeing yeah. the changes in the place, it, yeah. it's easy to see why you've kept with the times and stayed ahead of the pack. Yeah, which, listen, that we're lucky the boss is just so forward thinking in every way he he always sees the wood from the trees and he's always progressing the place every every single uh, every year you know always there's something new and you know so we're very lucky really the pack are always chasing and you're always trying to keep ahead and, and we're not we're uh, very aware that don't take any little thing for granted really definitely uh, a dark horse to follow for the year Oh, a dark horse. Um, I suppose Diego Velasquez is underrated, River Tiber underrated horses, we think. Um, yeah, that's what we think at the moment. Okay, we'll go with those two. Joseph or Dunica as riders? Ah, oh, gee, they were two very good riders. They both of them were very young when, and they were pitched in right at the deep end. Um, I um, listened to her. Listen, for me, they were two great riders and they were a big help to me because they rode all the work and they knew all the horses and I had very little to do explaining yeah um, very strong uh, very determined you know so uh, the record speaks for themselves ah, yeah no listen it was great for me and I missed them when they stopped riding really favorite race course in the world uh, I suppose it's very hard to uh, Newmarket is a great track the Curra is a great track um, listen here like we we think the Curra there's no second to the Curra anywhere um, obviously and then in England there's Newmarket and you have Ascot and then all over the world and you have the American tracks you have Hong Kong is uh, great track, you know. There's, uh, there's great tracks all over the world now, really, Danny. Each and every one of them have uh, their benefit. I think so, and, and uh, I, I think the facilities are getting better, people are getting better, and everyone knows that prize money is getting better, so everyone is rising to the occasion, I think. Best horse you've ever trained? Oh, God, it's, it's very hard to get away from, I suppose, obviously, Easterbrack is our first superstar uh, that we ever had, and then obviously Galileo came along shortly after that, so it's very hard to get away from those horses. Two great ones. Hopefully two. we've seen another like it here this morning. Well, hopefully, exactly. It's two special horses, you know, and, and like obviously uh, the horse this year looks very special at the moment. Yes, so you try. Yeah, he, listen, at last year he looked very special, and he's doing everything exceptional at the moment, so uh, obviously time will tell, but uh, we're, we're uh, excited about him at the moment. Lovely. And looking ahead, Whirlpool is a big part of the Irish scene now. Guineas, Derby, Ledger and Champion Stakes. They, do you think some of the older ones like Augusta Road then will be turning up on some of those big days? I think so, yeah. It's very important and I think it's going to change the whole world. Um, Whirlpool being involved, especially this part of the world, I think it's great for everyone. I think it's for everyone all over the world. It, it brings all world racing together. Um, obviously, the, the plan will be to have Augustus and all those horses there for all those races. Um, hopefully we'll have three-year-olds for the, the three-year-old races and uh, the plan with Augustus is come back from Dubai to go to the Curra for the Tattersalls and then on to Ascot and, um, yeah, and obviously the Champion Stakes is, is probably the most important race here. Yes, and uh, Whirlpool, it's fantastic for you know all those horses and better prize money, but even the staff bonuses on the day, it makes your job easier to bring good staff into the game. I think so. It, it, it makes everyone very enthusiastic. Everyone looks forward to it. And when it's uh, when everything, prize money and everything is getting trickled down and, and distributed amongst everyone, I think it makes a big difference. Definitely, and it's uh, also looking at it. Ryan Moore would be one of the more common jockeys within the world pool, you know, for the fans. What makes Ryan so good? He's professional. Uh, he's a great rider. He's very committed, very dedicated, uh, very self-critical. Um, he he doesn't take um, himself too serious, and uh, he takes what he does very serious. You know, so he's a very special fella. He's total professional, um, very consistent. Um, um, he, he, he's, I think he's as professional as you can get, um, but great fella to deal with, with everybody and uh, like an unbelievable ability really as well. 
yeah, it's great to have someone like that. And for yourself, you, you've been at the top of the game for so long. What inspires you to, to keep going and what, why is the hunger still there? Yeah, which I suppose this is what we do. Uh, this is what we love. This is what we've always done. I uh, never knew anything else, but like we uh, try never to get complacent uh, in any way. Um, you always uh, feel like you have to keep uh, turning up and uh, doing your best every every year and uh, you have to prove it uh, day in day out and uh, nothing is a given um, don't take anything for granted and you're always only as good as your last runner or your last race really lovely very good